Cuando uno mira todas estas montañas, ve todos los ríos, eso le da a uno esperanza y le da deseo de vivir para poder defenderla. Nosotros nos dimos cuenta que estaba el porvenir de Puerto Rico entredicho. Y decidimos entonces luchar, no solamente por las aguas, la ecología, el ambiente, sino también por la sobrevivencia de Puerto Rico como una nación. There is a need to move away from fossil fuel, to reduce our ecological footprint, to do our part to confront global warming. We grew up here, we have been doing this for 39 years, and we're committed to continue walking that path. I think that this project in Casa Pueblo is maybe the most complex project that we've taken on through the Han Foundation. Though it doesn't feel that big in some ways, just because our local partners, Arturo and Casa Pueblo, are so dialed and already have so many of the parts together. What we're doing is a transformation, a transition from fossil fuels to clean energy sources that will be owned by the community. We're going to help the town to be energy self-sufficient. It's kind of magical to find a place where everybody in the town already knows that solar is a good idea. Like, you don't need to sell it to anybody. They're psyched. They know how it works. They know how powerful it can be when it comes to disaster resilience and climate resilience. And they also know how powerful it can be economically because it's so much cheaper. One of the big issues with renewable energy in general is energy storage. That's really where Rivian comes in, because Rivian manufactures electric vehicles, but really at the heart of that is energy storage, which is batteries. They're no longer great for a vehicle, but they can still provide backup for a community. We've always known that this battery in the vehicle was always only the beginning. Today was an opportunity to see, did we hit the mark, right? Can we leverage our technology in our second application, third application, which is grid storage for communities. In a perfect world, what we're going to end up with is the island's first cooperative solar microgrid. Something that is totally based on the community's needs and interests to really build something that's going to set an example for the rest of the island. We're going to take the streets of Adjuntas, not to oppose to the mining, not to oppose to a natural gas pipeline. This is La Marcha del Si, the march of a yes. In the case of Puerto Rico, there's a lot of injustice, and we have to confront that reality. is for the people to get together and tell us collectively that we want a different future and we're going to build that different future. The majority is claiming a change and a transformation now, not in 2050 that we want the transformation to clean energy sources now.